In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to create circular images in Elementor and CSS. Today, we will see how to put an image in a semicircle, quarter of a circle, and also how to put four different images in four different quarters of a circle so that they form a full circle. Let's get started. I will open my Elementor page here and I will go and place an image widget. So just go here and select your image. I will set image size to full and I will go to the advanced panel of my widget. If you are using Elementor Pro, you will have this custom CSS field here. If you are not using the Pro version, then you would have to input uh, to place your CSS uh, code in and use some kind of a plugin. I will show you how to do this later. Let's start with creating our semicircular image. So I will type selector and image or IMG. And now the first thing that I want to do is that I want to set the width and height of my image. So in order to create a semicircle, I want my height to be half of my width. So if I set, for example, my width to be 300 pixels, and let's say height in that case should be 150 pixels. Now, as you can see, this stretches or deforms actually my image. In order to keep the original proportions, I will use object fit property and I will set it to cover. Now you can see that the, the image keeps uh, its proportions as it should be. The next thing that I would like to do is to set border radius. So I will type border radius. Now what I want to do is to set my border radius uh, for top left and top right to be basically 50% of my width of this rectangle. In this case, the width of the rectangle is 300 pixels. So I will set, set actually 150 pixels because that is the half of the width. And then in order to set it only for top left and top right, I will have to write all four values. So we start actually with top left. So then I will go uh, and uh, write for top right. So it will be 150 pixels again. And then bottom right, which would be zero pixels in my case, and bottom left, which would also be zero pixels. And now you can see that we actually created this semicircle. So basically, there are two important things here that we need to set our width to be a double of the height. So to create this kind of a rectangle with these proportions of the, of the sides. And the other thing is to set border radius values for top left and top right points to be basically a half of our width. And this is how you create a semicircular image. Now let's see how could I create a quarter. In this case, let's delete uh, this code and let's start over. So I will type selector and image. And uh, in my case, in this case, I want to set the width to something like, let's say 200 pixels, or let's say 400 pixels so that it's a little bit bigger. And also uh, in my case uh, of creating a quarter of a circle, what I want to do is to set the aspect ratio to one because I basically want to create a square image. So I will type aspect ratio and set it to one. And again, to keep the original proportions and not distort the image, I will have to use object fit property and set it to cover. And now we can start with the border radius again. So I will type border radius, but in this case, I will use, uh, I basically only have to curve one point. I only have to use border radius for one point, for one corner. In my case, let's uh, use the top left corner. And in this case, I will use 100% property. And the rest uh, of the values for other um, corners, I will set to zero. So I will type 100% and then 0%, 0% and 0%. So in this case, I used border radius on the top left corner. If I wanted to use it on the top right corner, in this case, the first value would be zero and the second value would be 100%. Accordingly, I can do the same for the third val value or for the fourth value. So depending on where you put this 100%, you will actually rotate 
this uh, mask of this quarter of a circle. Now let's see how to create uh, those four uh, quarters of a circle with four different images to form a full circle. In this case, let me just delete this image. Uh, I will create an inner section first, and this inner section will hold actually top left and top right quarter of a circle. So I will start by placing an image here. Again, let me choose my image, set it to full, go to the advanced panel, custom CSS field, and here I want to form a quarter of a circle. So let's just type the same thing that we did before. So I will set aspect ratio, set it to one. Object fit, set it to cover. Width would be something like 300 pixels. And border radius, I will use for this one, I will use 100% on the top left corner and the rest would be zero. Now, let's see, let's place another image here. In this case, actually, I don't need the second column, so I will just delete this column and I will duplicate this image. Uh, so go again to the advanced panel and this image here would actually have border radius set to top right corner. So I will keep the same settings here. Uh, instead of the first value, I will leave it to zero and the second value would be 100%. Then I will go to my content and just change the image. Now, in order to place these two quarters of a circle next to each other, what I will do is select the first one. In the advanced panel, go to width and set it to inline and do the same thing for the other image. Width set to inline. And now you can see that they are basically touching each other. And the only thing left is basically to duplicate this inner section that holds these two images, then change the border radius of these images. So in this case, this will be zero and the third value would be, actually the fourth value would be 100. And let's just change the image as well to something maybe like this. And the fourth image here as well, go to the advanced custom CSS and set the third value to 100, which means the bottom right corner. So just in case that you haven't realized, these four values start with top left and then they go basically clockwise. So the first value is top left, the second value is top right, third value is bottom right and the fourth value is bottom left. Now, once we have all these four images, let me just change the last one as well. The only thing left basically is to remove this space between these two intersections. So how we will do this is simply select the column here that holds these two images. In the advanced panel, set the padding to zero and do the same thing for the other one. And there you go. We created basically those four quarters and placed them next to each other so that they form a full circle. So this is how you create these kind of circular image masks using border radius in Elementor and CSS. I hope you liked this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.